tuning into Keith FM with Roddy Gunn on your radio. 29 years ago, Jamaicans were waking up to the ultimate protest song. This record was absolutely enormous and still gets the ultimate revival flare up whenever it's played. 90 is in the house. When I first heard this record, I couldn't get my money out fast enough. I just thought it was so absolutely amazing. And here I am sitting in front of the man that made it 29 years ago. 90 The Observer, Winston Hollis. It is an honor to have you here at KISS 100. And congratulations sir, and well done for all the things you've done for the industry over the last 30 years. Thank you. What a vibe it must have been. I mean, how old were you when you cut that tune? And how, how did all that come about? There you were, uh, uh, you know, every street corner, every jukebox was playing your tune. Huh. When I cut that tune, man, it was going through some terrible, terrible vibes, you know what I mean? At that time, it's a long story. The first thing to talk about this song here is a part of my book, you know, and really is a long history. If I sit down to tell you about really how this tune come for me and how it go and how the end of it and how it flare off is around... 100 pages so right now the book you you know when the book come everybody will really see and read and know what's going down you know but in essence what happened where did you record it and how did you come to record it yes well at the time now well this is the story of a beginning at the time you know Bonnelly is always the boss and Lee Perry, right? And I have, I have to give thanks to Bunny Lee. Big up, Trika, anywhere, because, <laughs> you know, he's my brethren and they do a good thing for me. Well, at the time, them time, you know, when Striker was the number one man round town, Striker, me and Striker hook up and Striker said, well, nine right now, you must come beside me and things. And Lee Perry said the same thing, said, come here inside of me. Don't be said the same thing, come in. Beverly said the same thing and Joe Gibbs. So I was the youngest man out there at them time because them time I made just all 23 of them kind of thing they come up. They made against Bunny and them thing. They're young, you know? So I become a salesman with striker. Because any record round town me could have sell. Because me's a man sell all black black um thing there, even rat mess for all black pepper in them time. Like. And the way you can sell. <laughs> Yeah, rat mess. Yeah, rat shit. black pepper, you know. Because you understand what you say. Because uh, them times in my heart, man. You know what I mean? And, and them times, they're not time like no. You know what I mean? You can't go around two things. Say, yeah, this record are the best and this are the that. But anyhow, we are good on, right? So anyhow, it's good now. We become a salesman and record the sale and things like that and Bonnie Lee hook up with Palmer record in England now so Palmer the head office now so 
when did he decide as a boss and I said watch you go and run things and you run artist thing and you take over the studio and things so he's a, he's a man now where him just cool out and give me the runnings you know what I mean because Bunny the first man make artist know say yo you come to England and things so him take over a bigger post so at the time now I start run things now I had proud to beg and the whole of them tune and you know, I start to run it and the man never says strike and they say what? Well, yeah the bodies, you know what I mean? Just go down and everybody I hear me now and things like that. So everybody want me for work for them. Joe Gibbs, my real theme at night time. When everybody gone home, strike and the two like it, me and scratch. Dry up and down all about with idea. <laughs> so me and Bundy go have a little fallout now and ah. me, yeah, me go say watch you know time for me leave yes sir, you know what I mean and we decide for leave you know but Max Romeo him come in now and after Max Romeo him come in him say him have a tune and that was um Robbie Shakespeare a book and him come in the night and they read the book and we see it and me and him did a reason but it was a Maccabee Bible and right away him just said well skip a come here this is where we are reading all right read this so with the hand and we just come up with you gave a like King James version and we come with the Maccabee. But we mm. lick, me lick the rhythm and give and vice it and we go sell it out again and you know. Bring back Maccabee yeah. version. Yeah, them yeah. time yeah. me and him live and me and him live in the same house and you know we say we are deal as a company for me and him team up. You know, this month you have a money, you split it and anything we make me split it, you know, but <laughs> Aside from that single, you've also, of course, went on to, to make a, a series of magnificent recordings, which are, which are anthems today, and, and here's one of them. Produced by Niney the Observer, this is Dennis Brown. Come along, yeah, and dig myself. antagonist Wolves and leopards are trying to kill the sheep and the shepherd Yes Wolves and leopards are trying to kill the sheep and the shepherd Yeah Too much informers Too much steel bearers Too much informers too much still be right. Time to separate the sheep from the wolves. We're at the crossroads, and this is the time of decision. Too much in farmers. Too much still be right. Too much in farmers. Too much still be rise, yeah. and peep it's time the wolves them leave the sheep too much watch and peep it's time the wolves them leave the sheep wolves and leopards are trying to kill the sheep and the shepherd love and hate can live Days of my life, envy no one, 
she shall follow I on the days of my life. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Love and hate can never be friends. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. There was something so magical about those recordings, uh, those teenage years for Dennis Emmanuel Brown with you at the helm and just looking at the label here and reminiscing the Observer label, Sunini of uh, the Observer, uh, 118 Orange Street, <laughs> the Observer label. Well, I mean, you were the producer, you were there, you created those rhythms, you got Dennis into the studio. What was it like? What was the spirit like there? What's fun? What's fun? You see, another time like now, you know. It's a different time because them time they just musical. Everybody just musical and right now it, them time they just do it from your heart. You know what I mean? What do you what, so why is it different now? What do you mean by that? Why is it why? No, 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 you're never looking at the business for just money at them time. They, you decide that when you do a work you want to do a good work. But now is a now is a different thing from them time there. When 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 people go in at the studio you now, all of them go in to count how much money this tune gonna make. But them days you know you really do it from your heart because them days there you know when you make tune you know. Remember you know rude boy alone round you and come in a studio and sit down you know, and so the environment set up and. On the tune music, you could have, have taken cool them, them guys there with the violence because some serious guys come around, you know. And when you look at some guys who come around, man, sometimes if you hear them near, man, you run. You know what I mean? And if you know the work with them perform. But them days they have to use music, control them. So when you're in a studio, you're not just going to a studio if you go make a tune through money. You make a tune through. You, you, what really happened to the situation I really want to go on. You, you want to really say, well, why? You have to really make tune and people can really listen and, you know what I mean? Listen to the work and cool, you know what I mean? Because the other side of this record, it used to make me laugh at the time. It's ironic now you're telling me that you actually had a fallout straight to Striker Lee's head. <laughs> <laughs> straight to Buddy Lee's head. The Observer Mix. the rhythms constructed in those days? How did you go about your business? Where would you lay your rhythms, Nine? Which studio? Well, I used to use a lot of studio. I used to use every studio, but uh, my main studio at that time was Randy's Studio 17, right? I get a, I get a lot of inspiration down there, so. 
you know. Because, you know, you did just have eyeglass vest, a corner name, eyeglass vest around the corner. Chancellor. Chancellor. And, and you have not um, Parade, 17 Parade. And I ran this, ran this record shop just around here. So I, I like work as Studio 17 because when I start clap reading, Miss Pat always come upstairs and say, I want a thousand of that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really nice to me. I mean, it's it's not, you, she, you yeah. passed the old grey whistle test. She was downstairs running the shop, and yeah. if she liked the rhythm, she'd tell you when it comes oh, out, she man. wants a thousand. Yeah, man. The always have a monitor come down, man. <laughs> and when she touch it, every time nine you up there work, I monitor and turn off. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. <laughs> now. And dubbing wise, where did you dub? Uh, obvious question, but tell us anyway. Where did you do your dub mixing? Well, Tobies. Tobies was a king. And man like you know, to, you know, your, your name have a change from David now, right now, to, you know. Because it's like oh king is a king. Oh my god. I sir, you name now. No, 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 no. Eh? No, yeah. I, 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 I want to talk about King Tubby. I want to talk about 90, 90 The Observer, and, 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 and thank you for the compliment. But uh, your work stretching back over 30 years, uh, down to Tubby's, did, when you were actually in the throne room with him and, and work, what, what, I mean, how did, did, did you say to him, this is kind of feel I want, Tubbs? How, how did it go? What was the relationship between you two? Yeah, well, Tubby's a man. Let me tell you with Tubbs now. Tubby's a man just like you, as I said. Because certain true me notice that you don't play them neither, you know. That's what me said, well, you're the sir, right? No. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> see, see, bro. Certain true me know you don't like them, you don't touch them. Well, certain true Tubbs don't like it in a mix. And when Tubbs love a tune and him start mix it, and you see me start rock, you know that. And... You know, the thing you tell Tubbs, because you tell Tubbs the Tubbs, it's the way I want it. And me and Tubbs always work nice. You know what I mean? Because certain little ideas we get. And the way how me want it really move, we can tell Tubbs that this is how me want it. And when him hook up him patch bait them and hook up certain little finangers and whatever, you know, and start going on, that's a different, completely thing. We just played My Time and Wolf and Leopard and Here I Come, three classic recordings from Dennis Brown, the crown prince of reggae music. Your relationship with Dennis, what was he like in those early years? Oh, great, man. Dennis coming like my brother, my son, everything. You know what I mean? We're we 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 the dev cool, man, because, you know, we're not busy really where a man wants about Dennis Brown and with him. People say, oh, Dennis is that and that. But I remember the days, the, the, when me and D they come from way back. And sometimes I wake up there and say, D, studio, and, hey, boy, them time of morning. Now. But gradually with Dennis, forget the best out of Dennis. You cannot use Dennis early in the morning for bring a studio. You have to wait. You get Dennis sing from after 12. So most time I wake him up and say, come studio. No, 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 we got beach and thing like that. And you know, when you come for real work, it's some great work that you would have put on, man. Because when they sing, when Dennis is sing, man, and some you know the man great. Studio full of road boy, full through the can hole. Yeah. Herald TFA said, drink, man, we can't take so much crowd out. They say, oh, the king they're singing out. We deal with. And people are running from them, but I'm telling them if you open the gate. You know what I mean? Like a stage show. So, they didn't know the brother there. They didn't know from the little youth they come say. Him crab it. But, you know, I call him the cool right now still, but... The productions of 90 The Observer. Winston Holness, our special guest on this Sunday evening right here on KISS 100. It's 14 minutes past nine at 10 o'clock. The Cosmic Jams with Patrick Forge. DJ Hypes here at midnight. Drum and bass with uh, Kirk DiGiorgio at 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. Another classic from 90 The Observer. A song all about Cassandra coming up. This is KISS 100. Listen carefully. This is what a girl who's up for it sounds like. Hello, Marcus. How are you doing? This is a girl who's not interested. Hello, Marcus. How are you doing? Up for it. Hello, Marcus. Not interested. Hello, Marcus. Got that? Okay. It's night. You're in a club. Hello, Marcus. How are you doing? A nightclub is a hostile environment. You may want solstice, a new drink from Lucozade with glucose and vitamins and with caffeine and guarana to make you more alert. Quickly. Solstice. Don't miss a thing. Don't be a lesser mortal and come to the people's portal. Bumblebees shouldn't be able to fly, but they do.
Ali shouldn't have beaten Frazier, but he did. No one guessed a B-movie actor would become president, but it happened. And no one expected to get free internet connection by walking into Asda. But you can. CurrentBun.com, the new free internet service, will be serving up their free CD-ROMs in every Asda store. Get free internet access, free email, and 24-hour customer service. Or, if you're already on the internet, download it free by typing in CurrentBun.com. What a result! CurrentBun.com Easy dot peasy! Internet use charged at local rate. Honestly, you really can get a new polo match from your local Volkswagen retailer for just seven nine nine five on the road. If you don't believe me, call 0800 333 for details. Kiss 100, oh, yeah. playing Dennis Emmanuel Brown. Oh, yeah. Driving rhythm section produced by Nine the Observer. Westbourne tree, you know, with Dennis and we arrived, you know. Everything all right. You remember Dennis did see? What's up? Okay, was it TB? Yeah, it's yeah, called it's tuberculosis. Right? It's only got one lung, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, and then 
he come to me before I put out Westbound Train. We are come from Beach in the morning, you know. Right, me, me say, all right, we are Chris Westbound Train. So we go to Beach, fit, nice up everything. When we come up um, Orange Street, we say, skip on me split, but then you know, I say, well, we go on and test the hospital and then them carry, we go up at the hospital. So you know, he did admit. So when he meet inside now and things like that, we throw out Westbound Train. So really what happened when Westbound Train come now, we take him out of the hospital around 2 o'clock or at night. We did my big youth and do this song, you know? Um, ride on and Wild Goose Chase. And give Mary to one for play. Mary to one Blake. Mary to one Blake. So one day when me listen now one night now and go up there now, it's Light Parks and and Al Brown me to come with one through near my here I am, baby. So me just ride the man and go up at the hospital and say, D Brown, right now, me hear something ride me away, you know. So we yes, same same say, alright, later, later. So we just go for Randy's and book the time and just go back for Dennis and clap back to Sanja. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and it was a fight now between here I am and Cassandra and Cassandra go up, here I am go up, here I am come down after the chair, Cassandra go up. So I, said, uh, I just said, go and from that now, D Brown just get big, 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 big through the record. Well, let's hear Westbound Train. The version drama. that started the fever. Saturday the 15th of May, Rodigan, Sweet Melody, Bobo and Numeramo uh, We're up there at the Elite Club, 229 Lower Clapton Road. It's going to be a big, big Stay Green Jam this coming Saturday the 15th of May, 10 p.m. till 5 a.m. Uh, some classic tunes from back in the day and some uh, hot, fresh stuff as well. Champagne Splash, Rodigan, Sweet Melody, Bobo and Numero Uno. This coming Saturday, Elite Club, 229 Lower Clapton Road this Friday. We're up at Wayne Irie's birthday bash, the Royal Albert Hall, uh, Witten Road in Aston in Birmingham this Friday night, running a copper face in the team. Now, a tune I always, well, I always collapse when I hear the intro to this next record. Uh, I, Roy, doing his impression of a London of a Cockney. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what was all this about? What was all this about? Come on, point blank. It's one of the greatest intros on record. I, Roy, comes to London, studies a few Cockneys and goes back to Jamaica and has a go at the microphone stand. I mean, you must have been on the floor. Was it your idea or was it his? Well, I, well, I saw the business used to go, you know, you know what I mean? You know, 
the Ira is a very jammerous guy. You know, <laughs> in heavy, you know. In character. And, yeah, in character, very, you know. And he always try, like, you know, I am Ira, no guy like me, you understand? So, the best dressed man in town. The best dressed man in town. So, <laughs> when Ira stand up around a mic, you know, you know, it's like you're getting the real drama, you know, because it's a man him like use some words sometimes, and you know how him stay ready, and... You know, him swift and him nice, him like nice things. So him record them always nice and sweet. All when him say, boy, I rise, not like you rise and whatever. But him always have that touch, you know what I mean? And humorous and he's a man who have that charisma. So He'd been an accountant or something before he came to the music. He was a bookkeeper and accountant. He just seemed like the last thing you would expect a recording artist to have been. Do you know what I mean? Well, well, that's why that's why him so heavy because, you know, all accountants is very great, you know. Them know how to take the figures, they make different, different things, you know. <laughs> so when I ride, come to the business, he feel like he's, him is only the brain in the business and the general. Sometimes strike a lease, say, Ira, what you deal with? Because... No, I really want to tell you, sir, this is not nine, you know, this is six, you know what I mean? And you have to six or nine. Yeah, you have to walk more P.I. and say, all right, come on, man, you know what I mean? So, it was a nice guy, though. Yeah. Everybody loves I Ira, you know? Uh, from his days when, frankly, he could have run for prime minister in Jamaica, this is the great I Roy with Point Blank. Check the intro. Hello, Charlie. Could you tell me where to find Count Bro? So we talk back, jump man, one go. That's it, I'm a bloody talk ronking down it. All I need is a couple of little birds up there. Let's see it. <laughs> That's it, mate. Ta da! Roddy! Fish up! Dog wise, Roddy! So when I kick off, you stack it. This record is really shocking. Uh, there's nothing worse than not being able to get a record or trying to tape a record and there's a wonderful, wonderful intro in it. And perhaps you didn't, uh, we're not that we're encouraging home taping, but it, almost, it may be so difficult to get this record again. So we're going to run from this, run this from the top to the very last drop. We're wheeling and peeling, we're pulling it twice. Here it goes, from the top, I, Roy... And the intro of all intros for Ninety the Observer. Hello, Charlie. Could you tell me where to find Count Bro? So we talk back, jump man, one go. That's it. I'm a bloody talk ronking down it. All I need is a couple of little birds up there. Let's see it. That's it, mate. Ta da. Fish your love box, Jack. Can I tell you this one was Charlie kind of rocking? So when I kick off, you stack it But this your way, cause I really shock it I don't doubt rockin' And I got to do scout When I used to go to school They used to talk me the golden rule They say sound better than that Watch that Or I know you gonna feel it at Me never walk a whole walk, yeah No, no Me never walk a whole When I get a mess off your chest, I'm gonna put you to the test of this shit that I be out there rocking. Say I'm on a long time rocking. Say you say this, I just be out there rocking. Don't come make me don't be tell me banking. For this, I just be out there rocking. So make me don't be tell me banking. So long as live in the moment. Gonna dump it from coast to coast I have your musical notes And till you see me I'm the most And then it goes So make me know me that I'm bumping Shock and chill up in the field And I will in the middle I'll meet you with the lamb you jiggle I scorn it to the sickle For this and that me that I'm bumping No one's got to the fry eyes And I'm bumping I'm bumping I'm bumping I'm bumping Run the road again, Radigan, man, I tell you. Radigan's dubs don't hide you. So we talk back, young man, one go. That's it, I'm a bloody talk ronking down it. All I need is a couple of little birds up there. Let's see it. Ha, 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 ha.
It's 9.13.90, the Observer is at the helm. Radigan's Reggae on KISS 100. A thing called Camp Road Skanking. Up by camp, you don't want to go there. <laughs> A night in up by camp, no thanks. Not in those days, anyway. Uh, for those, uh, those listeners uh, who have got no idea what we're talking about, and this is not a, a tourist holiday you show here, <laughs> tell us about up by camp, though. <laughs> up our camp. When you reach that place, man, when you reach up our camp, it's a serious place to reach, you know. Up, no one don't want to go up, up our camp. That's why you hear, um, who said that? Enough singers said that. I don't, John Old said, I don't want to go up our camp. I know how serious up there is, you know. Well, they lock you down in there. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Soldiers don't joke. Soldiers don't joke. You know? Michael Rose, how did you find Michael? Ah, uh, next one. When Michael was, uh, you know, nice brother, but I want to tell you how I find him. They, they did have a, used to have a um, talent show, and this place named Bohemia, right at Half a Tree Road. And the night, they have a, 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 a concert, a talent show. And I never really knew him that time, but after the talent show going on, he sing and not never happen because he's a girl win the talent and thing. And I see he stand up now on corner. So, you know, I said, but the youth had just done sing and him look frustrated. So I said, come here, youth. He said, he's a great singer, you know, but I just said, go. So me and him the talk and I said, listen, check me on 91 Orange Street. And him come. Him come to the camp. The time Dennis Brown had night camp, him come. Me have him to the camp for three months before me record him. And the time said for learn. Me I go as through them, I said just look where I go on man and pick up vibe and learn, you know what I mean? So well him feel frustrated three months in the record. I said just school man. So boom now and him on the and after him there and you know Dennis Brown the click and thing. But him start I don't know him the man start look like Dennis Brown now because sometimes we wake up wait for Dennis Brown and we see him up the road they come down. Everybody says Dennis Brown they come there, but it's like Dennis hypnotize him or certain thing, you know, so we there and with him and thing like that and me, me just a boom and came as through the you know, record love between us sound like Dennis Brown freedom him sound like Dennis Brown wham I love you the way it's him sound like Dennis Brown one more tune him sound like Dennis Brown so I say yo to watch ya see the style we have now I go put them on street cause anyone put them on street is Dennis Brown you know, gonna get the fame and everything because you sing too much like him. So I never really put them on the street. So I'm say, Ray Ray. So I said, that's cool. So one day, you know, me and Dennis, I said, Dennis, you see this little guy here? We are bossing, you know. Dennis said, yeah. So yeah, Thursday, 
boss him can't go a studio. I said, you remember a show? I said to him, say, you remember a movie where the guy did the Sydney Porter do? And him said, guess who's coming for dinner? I said, yeah. I said, well, that is your, your track today, you know? That are your title of your song today. And him start the song you now, and Dennis Brown did it with him, round with him, and all of it, and clap the tune. Boom, make the song. And after we make the song you now, that was the song that moved him off. So know? that's an understatement. Yeah. That kicked him right up there. Right Michael up. Rose, before he was with Black Who for 90 The Observer, and guess who's coming to dinner, the original piece. Guess who's coming for dinner, Guess who's coming for dinner, not in dreadlock. Oh, I can see you brought some herb for me, not in dreadlock. And the rest and hell and some brethren are coming over the hills. Stay in town like these, we must live as one. So the book of Guess who's coming for dinner? Not the dreadlock. So let's give thanks and praise Natty, Natty, Natty Dreadlocks I appreciate the herb you brought for me Natty Dreadlocks, yes Now the things in time of change Suffering made me realize what it takes And how to be a Natty Dreadlock Dreadlocks, dreadlocks. Guess who's coming for dinner? 90 The Observer. <laughs> coming for Sunday dinner Guess at Kiss 100. For dinner? Michael Rose. Dreadlocks. And another yeah. classic now from the 90 camp. Hear this. One of your biggest hit productions, 90. He kicks back in the chair. Can't believe we're licking the... You didn't know we had this one in the stack, did you? Yeah, we got you. Straight to your head, 90. Wicked, wicked. Bust your head with this. Should we give him the dub piece? 
are getting the nod of approval for the dub piece. Sunglasses on, and uh, boy, I was feeling that Kingston quality. Roots it quality that day, there. You remember? You remember you do a live um, when we go for um, Bonnie Road today. You do a thing at JBC live to BBC. You remember? Yeah, you don't right. remember them. Tonight. I do, yeah. No, oh, 19, yeah. 1983, and the, oh, yeah. they said they'd never seen so many recording artists at JBC. Okay. The, the, the queue went out into the car park. Okay. okay. It was a, a day I will never, ever forget. Okay. I got to meet so many stars for the first time. Yeah, back yeah. Here. yeah, yeah. 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 Roots with quality, and indeed, third world were there. Bringing us right slam bang up to date. Uh, let's go now with uh, your new discovery. Her name is Maria Ravilla, mm -hmm. and uh, you've got this combination with Freddie McGregor, Nani. Mm -hmm. How did you find Maria? Who is she? Where's she from? Well, Maria from, is from Spain, okay. and um, she lives in London. And a friend of Prince, you know, my good friend here, Prince. As I say, Prince, my best friend I have in London, right? You know what I mean? And his friend bring Maria to me and two more girls and at the time when I met her you know the, the three of them was good singers so I said to her that hey listen why you girls don't find a group and she said well she want to sing by her own the next girl said I want to sing and everybody said they want to sing by her own so I forced them and it couldn't happen so I said, you know, it need a girl group. So they said, well, I want want to sing. So I leave and go back to Jamaica and say, listen, I'm going to be in touch with you guys. So when I, they had Jamaica and come up back, the um, Spice Girls starts kicking now. After a few years after Spice Girls. And they said, oh, you, t you used to tell me we deal with that and that. So I said, they believe in me now, you know. So me and Prince and talk to her and she decided to go to Jamaica and let us do some recording and you know so we decided that we do an album with her and we don't really complete it up yet to the way I want it and 
then it's just like that we just keep working this is the duet with freddie mcgregor will be the first single if all goes according to plan love has no color freddie mcgregor and uh, maria ravilla Thank you for passing through. It's been great uh, playing some classics that you produced back in the day. It's lovely to hear them again and uh, the anecdotes as well. Um, and we, we wish you luck with this new project, of course, with Maria. Yeah, ma. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we, we hope your royalties are sorted out on uh, Blood and Fire. With <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think... I don't... To hold going, you know, I don't think it might be right now because yeah. I don't really, you know... It's called Tin Pan Alley. Everything cool. Everything cool. Tin everything, Pan Alley. Everything is everything, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> say that in Jamaica. Nine of the Observer on KISS 100. Right, this is forthcoming by Vincent Knapp on what will be his debut album. I just kiss it. Little sampler. A track called Walla Walla. Yes, we talk, lest we forget it. 